What's going on YouTube? Guided here, excited to bring you guys another recap. And as you guys can see, we had another perfect war. We three starred every single base. So for the first attack, I'm gonna show you guys our number one attacking their number one. We now have a Town Hall 11 on our clan. As you guys can see, he has the Warden, max level miners, and just watch how quickly he's going to devastate this base, guys. In under a minute and 30 seconds, he's going to get this three star for us. So he drops all three of his heroes, um, funnels with the Valkyries on the left and the miners on the right. They're gonna get to this Inferno Tower super quick. Watch how fast they're gonna take down this first Inferno Tower. In a matter of 30 seconds, he already destroyed 40% of this base. Look how fast he took down that town hall. Now the miners under heal are going to take down that second inferno tower. And now with the biggest threats of a town hall and defense taken care of, it's just a matter of cleaning the rest of the base. He still has so many miners up and there he uses the last heal for that section of the base since his miners ran into a giant pump and guys it's just a matter of cleaning up now really all three of his heroes pretty much have full health his queen still has the ability just incredible amazing job here these miners are just way too strong this was just way too easy very good job cold monkey it's it's very very nice to have you back so let's go ahead and jump into the second attack and this is going to be our number six attacking their number four. He will use a queen walk Gova Ho. I really like this strategy. He starts off with the queen walk, is going to funnel for the queen with one wizard to make sure that the queen heads north and he's just going to leave the queen for the rest of the attack here taking care of that northern section of the base guys takes out the clan castle troops here with two poisons the clan castle was very exposed here he didn't even need a hog to lure them outside drops down his golem wizards to funnel for the valkyries and king that are going to come and then he will give access to the valkyries and the king with the wall breakers here puts down his valkyries all the way up there just to make sure they don't head to that elixir storage Unfortunately, his Barbarian King is gonna walk outside of the base here, but that's okay. The Valkyries are going to get the job done inside the base. And now he starts to surgically deploy his Hogs here on the bottom section of the base, guys. So check it out. His Queen is still doing work on the northern side. No threat to the Queen since she has the healers backing her up. The Golem is sucking in all that damage from the core. And he surgically deploys the hogs here to take care of this bottom section of the base, guys. So he uses the last bit, last bit of hogs that he had over there. The queen is still full health. The king is also full health. They, the, both of their abilities still up. And now it's just a matter of cleaning the rest of this base as his healers are all still alive. And both of his heroes still have full health. So he activates there the ability of the king to get him through that um, compartment. And also probably to have the king suck some of the damage from the core. So that doesn't overwhelm the queen there. So only two more defenses left on this base. Just a matter of cleaning up. He activates the ability of the queen and finishes up the job for another three star for clan war pros very good attack ralphie all right so for our third attack here we will have austin our number 12 attacking their number 10 so let's jump into that he will use here a hog to lure out the clan castle troops so as you guys can see on the bottom of the base there this was an exposed clan castle one hog was not enough so he's gonna use a second hog make sure that he gets everything out of there it's a dragon so he's gonna go ahead and lure that with an archer here on the corner let's fast forward that and now he will drop his golem here to distract the dragon poison down to take to take care of the clan castle troops slow them down and wizards just to finish off this dragon immediately starts the funnel already for his main set of troops here so that they can head to the core of the base wall breakers to give them access to the inside of the base 
drops down his set of Valkyries here. Watch how quickly the enemy's Archer Queen is going to go down. Jump spell just to have everything go into the core of the base as he's gonna bring Hogs to surgically deploy here. Uh, good eyes to see that uh, Valkyries had activated a giant bomb there. So he uses the heal spell just to heal up those Valkyries. And now as the Valkyries suck in all the damage from the core, um, his hogs here are, are doing mad work here on the outside. Heals them up here on this section as there might be a giant bomb there on that spot right there. Good eyes here. Very, very good planning. So now he deploys his last bit of hogs here. And pretty much this base is done. All the defense is taken care of. He still has a couple of hogs alive. Valkyries. Archer Queen is still up. And he uses some leftover wizards here to do the job of cleaning up here in the bottom section of the base. Very, very good attack here, Austin. Great job. Another three star here for Clan War Pros. And let's go ahead and fast forward the end of this raid to get us to the fourth and final attack of this recap. And for this fourth attack, I want to show you guys the attack done by Welsh Boy 2. Our number 14 attacking their number 13. Very, very good eyes to spot these two exposed air defenses here on the top of the base. It's not often that we see all dragon attacks on Taho 9s and successful ones. So I figured I'd show you guys this attack. Um, this just goes to show how important it is to scout the base and to spot the weaknesses of these bases. So he's going to go ahead and take down these two air defenses here on the north section of the base. He will then use a lightning and earthquake combo to take care of another air defense inside the core there as you see over there taking care of that other air defense. The poison down to take care of the clan castle troops. Unfortunately, I don't know if he didn't expect all those Teslas there, and they were able to take care of his troops before they were able to take care of the clan castle troops. But it's no problem as he still has nine dragons coming on the left side of the base, only one more air defense. Under rage, they quickly take care of the, of the enemy's dragon there. The balloons can't do anything to air anyway, so they just stand still there. Um, and it's just a matter of time now to clean up the rest of the base, really. He still has like seven dragons alive. Not many defenses that can do damage to these dragons, except for two archer towers, one wizard tower, and one Tesla. He rages up his dragons here to hopefully take care of that Tesla in that air de um, in the archer tower, and he does so. So he still has six dragons alive here, and only 19% of the base left to clean up. Only the wizard tower that can actually do damage to these dragons. Just complete overkill. Very very good eyes by Welsh boy to spot the two exposed air defenses there on the northern side of the base. So like I said, it's not common to see all dragon attacks against Town Hall 9s because of the four air defenses and so many air mines and whatnot. It's just not often to see successful um, dragon attacks on Town Hall 9s. Very nice attack. Another three star here to add onto our perfect war. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave your likes, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more Clash of Clans content.